Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you find the information in this video uh, helpful for you to eat a healthier diet through home cooking, uh, please subscribe. Uh, there's a local physician. Uh, I will call him Jim for the purpose of this video. Uh, Jim runs a different medical practice. Instead of emphasis on the disease treatment, uh, his emphasis is on disease prevention. Uh, as part of his practice, he always provides patients advice in how to stay healthy. And of course, one of the most important aspects of staying healthy is through eating the right food. Uh, when he learned about my cooking classes, he uh, invited me to give some classes to his patients. Uh, in this video, I would like to tell you about one of uh, his patients, and I will call her Allison for the purpose of this video. Uh, for a good part of his life, uh, Allison has been uh, struggling with an autoimmune disorder, and she has been taking a lot of medications uh, to suppress the symptoms of the disease. But uh, uh, now she's decided that she wants to use diet as a way to manage her disease. Uh, it has been shown from literature that by uh, reducing the consumption of uh, animal fat, and by increasing the consumption of uh, plant fibers, this will have tremendous impact on the management of her disorder. Uh, she came to me after taking the, the class and she asked me, could I help her to increase her vegetable consumption in her diet? Uh, since then, she has gradually uh, adopting my uh, fast cooking system, and she actually makes significant progress. So in this video, I would like to provide you a description of how she is doing with my fast cooking system. Of those of you who are not familiar with my fast cooking system, uh, you can take a look at this video. The fast cooking system has the following four attributes. It starts out with uh, flavor chasing, and then it is advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking. Uh, when you put all these four different components together, uh, you're going to have a cooking system that is convenient, efficient, and also flexible. Uh, of course, the fast cooking system can be used for uh, applying to any type of diet, but it's particularly great for applying a diet that is high in vegetables. Uh, Alison uh, lives alone. For the challenge for her is that how to cook a meal that for one person that to provide a lot of variation and diversities. Uh, she really enjoys eating vegetables, uh, but she uh, did not have a lot of experience in cooking vegetables. Uh, so the first step I help her to achieve uh, is to adopt my advanced prepping system. Uh, by prepping the vegetable in advance and have them available in the refrigerator, uh, she have a lot of uh, different ingredients to choose from when she is ready to cook. Uh, the second step I help her to adopt my fast cooking system uh, is to master the stir frying technique. And the third part of this uh, adoption process is to show her the basics of uh, template based cooking. Uh, and the final part uh, of achieving this uh, cooking system uh, is to develop the ability for finding the flavor that she enjoys, uh, which I call it flavor chasing. Uh, Allison has been using my cooking system for about seven months, and she has made tremendous progress. Uh, about several days ago, I received an email message from her, and she showed me two pictures of the dishes that she has cooked for dinner that night. Uh, the first dish is a vegetable dish with four kinds of vegetables, and the second dish is a shrimp dish that with mushroom, tomatoes, and onion. I was very impressed. Uh, her dish looked amazing. They look very delicious, and I wish I was sitting there and having dinner with her. Uh, she told me that by using template-based cooking, uh, she was able to generate a lot of different type of dishes every night. Uh, in fact, she now cooks every single night. Uh, she told me that she usually eat about half of her uh, dinner uh, that night, and then she took the remaining of them to work. Uh, for her, more importantly, she feels that she is much healthier, and she is now able to reduce the medication that she needs to take uh, to control her symptoms. Uh, however, for her, the best thing is that she starts to losing weight as well. Uh, because of that, she starts to exercise more, and she says she has never been feeling as good as she has been in all her life. Uh, so for this video, uh, I would like to uh, repeat, or maybe perhaps I should say simulate, the dishes that she has cooked for her dinner. Uh, Alison told me that uh, she cooked this meal in less than 30 minutes that night. So I'm going to see whether 
I can match her time. I enter my kitchen at about 5.30 that evening, and my goal is that to have the dinner served on the table by 6 p.m. As soon as I walk in the kitchen, the first thing I did is that I took some shrimp out of the freezer and I had them fall in a bowl of warm water. Uh, for this meal, I need some tomatoes. Uh, the next thing I do is that I find some tomato in the refrigerator and I slice them up. Uh, since I have uh, advanced prepping, uh, many of the ingredients that I already have, for example, I already have some uh, mushroom cut up. Uh, for this meal, I'm going to use a uh, mushroom known as maitake mushroom. Uh, this mushroom uh, grown in the wild was given to me about a couple of days ago, and I will tell you more about them in another video. Uh, I have prepped this mushroom already, but I like to chop them up a little bit smaller to go with the shrimp dish. Uh, and then I go into my refrigerator uh, to take out things that I have already prepped. Uh, I took out about 5 cups of broccoli, uh, a little bit of carrot, and some onion. Uh, by this time, the shrimp uh, is already thawed, so I uh, remove the shrimp from the bowl of water, and after I dry them a little bit, uh, I cut them up into small chunks about the size of an index finger, uh, because I like them uh, this size better. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to coat the shrimp with some cornstarch. Uh, that will protect the shrimp during cooking and give them a little bit of a fry flavor. Uh, this will uh, help to create wok chi in the shrimp. Now, if you don't know much about wok chi, uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, I decided I'm also going to coat the uh, maitake mushroom with a little bit of cornstarch, uh, basically for the same purpose. Okay, now I'm all set. I'm ready to cook. Uh, I'm going to cook this meal in my 14-inch uh, Cucina standard steel wok. Uh, I'm first going to spot season my wok with my spot seasoning method. If you are not familiar with this method, you can take a look at this video. Uh, I'm going to compress the cooking video so you can see the entire cooking process from beginning to end. I'm going to cook the shrimp first because the flavor of the shrimp uh, could be carried over to the other ingredients. I also want to cook the shrimp separately because this will allow me to have a better control uh, of the texture of the shrimp. Uh, both my wife are very picky about the texture of the shrimp. We want to cook it just right. As you can tell, uh, in a very short time the shrimp is cooked. And in fact, the total cook time of the shrimp is about 1 minute 20 seconds. Uh, I'm going to set the shrimp aside uh, before I start to cook the vegetables that to go with the shrimp. And next, I'm going to cook the vegetables, uh, but I'm not going to wash the wok because I'm going to let the flavor of the shrimp to carry over to the vegetables. Uh, I first start by cooking the maitake mushroom, and then I follow by adding the onion. Uh, I stir them for a little bit, and then I add the tomato. Uh, as you can tell, everything cooks very quickly. Uh, I then season the dish with my uh, basic seasoning mix. Uh, now the dish is done, I add the shrimp back to the wok and mix it briefly. Uh, I then garnish the dish with some scallions. The total cook time of this dish is about 1 minute 40 seconds. Uh, I transfer everything onto a serving dish, and now I'm ready to cook the next dish. Uh, the second dish I'm going to cook is a broccoli dish with uh, carrots and mushroom. Uh, the way how I cook this dish is to achieve wok chi as much as possible. Uh, you can see my other videos that I will provide a breakdown of each individual steps. Uh, for the seasoning of this dish, I start with some uh, black bean, and then I follow up with some basic seasoning mix. Uh, again, this dish cooks very quickly. Uh, the total cook time of this dish is just a little bit over 2 minutes. Uh, I was looking at the time, I think I am doing pretty well. Uh, I transfer this dish to a serving plate, and dinner is served on the table right around 6.02. Uh, I told my wife that I think I missed the mark, but my wife said, oh, I don't think so, uh, because if you don't have to videotape and take pictures of all these dishes, we would have been eaten a little bit earlier. Uh, we served the meal on rice, and uh, we finished almost most of the uh, dishes, but we have a little bit left, and I set them aside for my lunch the following day. Uh, I then wrote to Addison and told her that she beat me by 2 minutes, and she wrote back with one big smiley emoji. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click the like icon below, because that will help me to expand my audience base. Uh, I am now posting my video regularly, about one every day. Uh, if you would like to uh, receive notifications of my future video postings, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.